All right, well, Coach, 5-2 uh, win. Your thoughts on the guys' performance tonight? Well, it was better than Friday night. Uh, I think uh, um, just we, we talked about having a little bit more emotion and, and uh, life and purpose to our game. And, you know, it was pretty even first period. Um, and then, uh, you know, we had some power plays in, in the second period, I thought. Um, could have gave us uh, put us in a better spot and maybe lost us a little life and gave them some and um, you know it's four two game going in the third period I thought our third period was our, our best period of the night we we sustained some zone time you know maybe our a few of those penalties got us out of a bit of a rhythm there um, but we were much more invested in the hockey game tonight and uh, you know happy with the win. You guys are ranked first overall in your conference when it comes to power plays. Do you think that's something this team is pretty confident in? I know you said maybe not as much today, but overall? Yeah, I mean, hey, at the end of the day, we went two for five, and it was a factor in the hockey game. Our special teams were, were you know, solid tonight. Um, you know, just sometimes when you don't score, uh, you know, in some of those situations, it can really take away some momentum from your, from your game. Uh, I thought our guys did a decent job of sticking with it. Um, again, two for five, and I think they were 0 for 4 on their power play. So, again, another factor in the win. It feels like it wasn't very long ago that Emilio Pedersen wasn't really even a regular in this lineup, and now all of a sudden he feels like he's a guy who you're relying upon a lot more. And What has changed in that sense? Huh. You come out of the lineup every once in a while and you get back in, you should be hungry. And I think that's been the case for that. And we've had guys that have, you know, sat out and um, for performance um, and come back in and had a response. That's what you're looking for. And it's an accountability piece for our group. I mean, that's, I know it's a developmental league, but uh, you know, you're a pro, you're paid to perform. And if you don't, you, you, there's other guys that are willing to step in and that ne next man mentality up uh, uh, for our group. And, and guys have done a good job responding when, when they have those adverse moments. And what have been your takeaways from Emilio's performance in these last few weeks? Well, he's a guy that's confident with the puck, and that's part of his game. Um, you know, so if that's part of your game, you got to want the puck in your stick to make those plays and, and get rewarded for it. And, uh, you know, the expectation for our group, uh, if you don't have the puck, is to make sure you check the game and you're in the right spots and, and uh, so we can get that puck back. And one last quick one for me. Uh, we're coming up to Brett Sutter's 1,000th AHL game, and he's scoring this year to rate, best rate in a few years now. And just your overall takeaway of, of what he means to your group. Oh, he's just our captain. He's leadership. I mean, um, numbers aside, uh, what he provides our group uh, in the room uh, on practice days, he, he's often one of the hardest working guys we got. He's 35 years old. Uh, it's, it's fun to watch. He's been a pleasure to work with. Um, he's a great extension of our coaching staff to our, our players and his teammates. And, uh, you know, he's, he's off to a good start here for us.